That's right, the time has finally come to answer this burning question that so many of you wanted to know. Should you use Rhino for Mac or Rhino for Windows? What are the differences and what are the pros and cons of using both platforms? In today's video, we're going to try to simplify this topic as much as possible and try to give you a straight answer. But of course, you're more than welcome to give us your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's take a look. Hey guys, Dushan here. Before we start, if this is your first time here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel as we upload new tutorials each week on Rhino and Grasshopper and how to use these tools specifically for architecture. All right, so we're going to compare Rhino for Mac and Rhino for Windows in three different areas. The first area is going to be the design area. The second one is going to be price and performance area. And the third one is going to be software slash plugin compatibility. Let's take a look at the design first. When it comes to using Rhino for Mac and Rhino for Windows, the main visual difference is of course the user interface. Mac's version of Rhino is tailored towards Mac users and the look and feel of the interface, buttons, menus and toolbars follows the same design language just like other Mac applications. On the other hand, Rhino for Windows has its own interface which hasn't changed much over the years. The look and feel of the icons look the same if you compare it with previous Rhino versions with the latest Rhino version 7. Of course, their main focus was on adding new features, new commands, fixing bugs, but the design change was never a priority. There is a discussion on McNeil forum talking about this much needed change and improvement for Rhino, but it seems like we're going to have to wait for Rhino version 8 to see if, if McNeil is going to give a new look and feel to Rhino's interface for Windows. Personally, I don't mind the existing Rhino user interface for Windows because I just got used to it over the years. But of course, if you compare it with other applications or even if you compare it with Grasshopper, it's obvious that it's falling behind. So I think that we can conclude that Rhino for Mac is a clear winner in the design area. All right, so now let's talk about price and performance for Rhino for Mac and Rhino for Windows. They're both priced at 995 euros, and if you have Rhino 6 license, you can upgrade that license for 395 euros, which is a promotional price until March 10th. So you can definitely consider upgrading your license uh, under this promotional price. Now, this seems like this price is quite equal, right? Well, yes, but we actually need to consider some other things as well. When it comes to performance, it's not just about the software itself, it's more about your computer parts, your, your system, and what your system runs on. This is where things get a little bit more interesting. We all know that Apple computers are beautiful with their sleek design, soft edges, Mac OS, and everything just works flawlessly. I'm sure you heard about this stereotype that all architects were black. And of course, this is not true for all of us, but I can say that it's pretty accurate in most of the cases. Same story applies to having a Mac laptop, which fits nicely with that black outfit and looks great when you present your project to a jury or a client. However, all of that comes with a cost. I will not go in great details here, but Apple computers are not cheap. Let's just say that for the same amount of money, you can get a PC or a laptop with Windows that is much more powerful than your beautiful Mac. So for that reason, I'm sure that we can all agree who the winner is in price and performance area. All right, so now let's talk about compatibility. I think this is the most important area of comparing both Rhino for Mac and Rhino for Windows, because we all know that having a streamlined and efficient workflow is crucial for every architectural office. Dealing with compatibility and technical issues is simply the waste of both time and money. So now let's compare some of the most important features and plugins for Rhino 7. The dark mode is a feature that comes with Mac OS, so Rhino for Mac has this capability as well. On the other hand, Rhino for Windows doesn't have this option, but there is a workaround where you can manually adjust all your user interface colors but it's not as simple a solution as on Mac's version. As architects, we spent a lot of time in front of the monitors, so having the dark mode feature can relieve the stress on our eyes a bit. This is definitely a big plus for Rhino for Mac. The next one is the mobile viewer app. It's called iRhino 3D, and this is an application developed by McNeil for iPhone, and it allows you to view your 3D models while on a go. 
The app itself doesn't have great reviews, but it's one of those things that were developed just for the Apple products because the development for Android just doesn't make sense. There are of course some third-party apps that can open Rhino files on Android, but again, these are not developed by McNeil team. Grasshopper, the one and only, world's leading app for parametric modeling and architecture. Grasshopper used to be a separate plugin for Rhino, but now it's an integral part of Rhino installation. The good news is that Grasshopper is supported for both Windows and Mac Rhino versions. However, there are some Grasshopper plugins that only work with the Windows version, simply because the development process for both platforms is difficult and time-consuming, so the Windows version always gets a priority. For example, Ladybug tools for Grasshopper are currently not working on the Mac version of Rhino, but there are some talks on the Rhino forum that the development for Mac version is currently taking place. We can see on this page that there is a list of some commands that only work with the Windows version of Rhino, and some of them are currently being worked on for Mac version. This is nothing major, but this just shows that Rhino for Windows has a priority in the development process. We have to mention one of the latest updates for Rhino 7, the subdivision tools. Creating fluid organic forms and amorphic shapes in architecture has never been easier in Rhino due to these powerful new features. Subd tools still have lots of area for improvement, in my opinion, but currently they are fully integrated with Rhino commands and work seamlessly. The good news is that subd tools work for both Windows and Mac version of Rhino. Rhino Insight is a great feature that came with the new release of Rhino 7. It allows us to run Rhino and Grasshopper directly in Revit. This opens up a whole range of possibilities when it comes to integrating the power of parametric modeling with Grasshopper with the beam capabilities of Revit. That's all super cool and opens up a whole range of parametric slash beam workflows. But guess what? Revit doesn't natively work on Mac and also Rhino Insight doesn't work on Mac version of Rhino. This is just too bad. If you ever wondered how to create video presentations for your projects, there is a plugin called Bongo that can help you do just that. It allows you to create various fly-through animations, walk-through animations, urbanistic and axonometric animations, and it is fully integrated with Rhino's visual styles, as well as V-Ray rendering visualization plugin. Does it work on Mac's version of Rhino? Nope, it doesn't. Another great plugin. Visual Arc allows you to use Rhino as a beam tool just like we use Revit or Archicad. It is fully integrated with Grasshopper as well, so we can really combine the power of both beam and parametric capabilities directly within Rhino without the need to use any other software packages. Does Visual Arc work on Mac's version of Rhino? Alright, so let's brighten up a bit. Twinmotion is one of my favorite real-time visualization tools in architecture. We've done a couple of tutorials on Twinmotion, so you can check out its workflow with Rhino. It's intuitive, very flexible, with a big library of materials and models. Guess what? It actually works for Mac's version of Rhino. Wait a sec. Cheers to that! I'm sure you've all heard about V-Ray. It's a rendering visualization software developed by Chaos Group. In my opinion, this is the most accurate rendering engine and it's widely used in the architectural visualization industry. It's great for both high-resolution static images, both interiors, exteriors and 3D diagrams for architectural presentation. It's integrated with Rhino and V-Ray 5 recently came out with some great new features that I'll talk about in some of the future videos. So what do you think? Does V-Ray work on Mac's version of Rhino? Another great real-time visualization software. It integrates with Rhino seamlessly as well as with other popular 3D applications that architects use, such as Archicad and Revit. It contains a great library of models and its material setup is super simple. You can also create your custom assets and 3D models and include them in your scenes, which is super useful. We have a tutorial on that, so make sure to check it out in the description below. Does Enscape work on Mac's version of Rhino? You would never believe. 
This is the last one of the great four applications for architectural visualization today. Lumion has been integrating Rhino models through its Live Sync plugin for Rhino. And the cool thing about Lumion is that it also works with proxy models that are coming from Enscape. It's really nice to see how all of these great real-time visualization software packages are coming along and being compatible with each other. But let's answer the main question you came here for. Does Lumion work on Max version of Rhino? The answer is simple, it doesn't. Rhino for Mac versus Rhino for Windows. Which one is better in 2021? Well, if you ask me, I would say run away from Rhino for Mac as much as you can. I know that this may sound a little bit harsh, but that's a reality. Right now, Rhino for Mac did win in our design category, but if you're planning to use Rhino for architecture, you would really be shooting yourself in the foot with this decision. For people who are already using Mac, I would consider having a dual boot system. You can easily do this using Bootcamp Utility and install Windows on your Mac. Of course, for some of you, this may sound like a heresy, installing a Windows on my pretty Mac. And I hear you and I understand you. So at the end of the day, you know, it's your call. It's your decision if you want to trade design over price, performance and compatibility. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this, if you agree or disagree with me. And of course, like and share this clip with people who you think might be considering using Rhino for architecture. Cheers, guys. If you'd like a structured step-by-step -step approach in learning Rhino and Grasshopper, organic and parametric architecture, presentation and rendering, you can apply for a Rhino for Architects 2.0 course. The first link in the description.